Good morning. How you doing? How's everybody doing out there, Connecticut? What's going on? Andy, we're doing. You know, I'll tell you this. It's a nice day. I'm sure you're getting the same weather in Brooklyn, New York. Oh, oh it's yes. A nice day in the sun is out. That's always a good sign. That's always a good. That's a blessing. We starting to feel like Florida this weekend on Saturday. Going to be close to the nineties. So it's getting I'm up the there. But I want to call and talk about this war in the Ukraine, what's going on with Russia. It's going to end. It's not going to last. The last woman who just called that was speaking, Kim, I don't know where she gets her ideology or notion from all that. All that I don't really agree with, but, you know, everybody got their insight into their own opinion. So, Kim, keep saying what you're saying. But it's going to end. But also, I want to ask you, where do you see our school system going? With what's going on with the war and what's going on with the coronavirus and everything? I really believe they're going to have to close the school system down. Uh, Roblox is going to start teaching the kids, and parents are going to keep the kids out of school and do homeschool. I just want to ask, what are your opinion on that? And also, do you think now that the movie theaters and everything start to open up, it's going to continue that way? Because I really feel we're going to get another shutdown. And New York always gets the hit the hardest. I don't know why. I'm sorry to hear that. Randy, those are two very good questions. All right, so uh, let me let me tackle the first one first. That is, I think the November midterm will have everything to do about uh, gas prices and about supply chain issues and the amount of items that you see on your grocery store or your retail outlet store. You watch. It's either going to change. With the outcome of if Republicans gain uh, more seats and take over the majority in the, uh, in the House and Senate in D.C., or it'll stay the status quo if Democrats retain the majority in each chamber. Now, as far as coronavirus, your second question, um, I, I'm going to tell you this, and this is going to kind of have an indirect result or, or, or link to the November general, elect, uh, general election, and that is, you watch. Mysteriously, there's going to be a new variant at the end of the summer of the coronavirus. Wow. And, they're going to, and that will allow the Democrats to start touting mail-in ballots again. Why? Because you got a midterm election coming up 